Rachel, you are my best friend and biggest supporter. Even when I don't want to talk to anyone else anymore, I always want to talk more with you. People often ask me when I thought you were the one, and I thought it was on our second date when you took me by the hands and encouraged me to not live in fear, but it was actually a few months in when you looked at me and said that you wanted to provide a safe marriage in every sense of the word. I love doing hobbies and experiencing new things with you, and I love trying to figure out what you mean when you use words like beep boop. And honest in place of the most important context clues in a sentence. But most importantly, I love you. You've already provided such a safe, caring, and consistent environment for me to freely love and to be loved in return. You've also displayed so many characteristics of Jesus, and those that know you can attest to this. <laughs> I was a little suspicious that you weren't saying anything. <laughs> forward to going through our best days and our worst days beside one another because of who you are on the inside. Your love for God and for your family and friends and supporting love for me are all so important and I wouldn't trade it for I'm grateful for all that we've shared and I'm excited for all that awaits us in the future. God has given me hope, a second chance, and the greatest unexpected gift I could ever imagine. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. going to be amazing. You're going to have a beautiful life together and I just hope you take those moments and cherish them. Even if they feel like they're inconvenient, they're going to be amazing. And I love you both and I hope you have the best life together. He is such a kind and uh, selfless person. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy for both of you. And uh, David, you're a very lucky guy. Yeah.